Hello, I am so excited to partner with the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner and to be engaged in this important conversation. Why better engagement is needed? That's the topic of our talk this morning or afternoon, wherever you are. I will open up with a story. I will share a real life story from my old job working with the police service in the UK. Now the service often argued that with better intelligence and community policing, not much else mattered. Data protection was a hard sell and frankly was not considered that important. In the story, the police had a drugs trafficking raid to carry out. For many months, the intelligence team planned to bust a drugs ring. They had been planning and on the morning of the raid, they received their brief and they were to carry out the raid on number eight, Church Road. Now, upon knocking down the door, the officers were greeted by 84-year-old Mrs. Miggins. Of course, it was the wrong door. A poor data quality issue meant that no real attempts had been made to ensure that data was accurate when recorded and up to date. Had this been done, the intelligence team would have very quickly realized that the target house should have been number eight church lane and not number eight church road. Better engagement with data protection can be the difference Taking data protection seriously and recognizing that our actions with data have real life consequences and worst case could have life and death consequences. It could have been worse in this story. Information is critical to every part of our lives and to every business. Managing and using it correctly, protecting it appropriately enables organizations to fulfill their objectives to deliver improved services and to increase their standings with their clients and with their customers. Over the next eight minutes, I want to talk about our individual relationships with data protection. I invite you with me to reflect on what it means to say we are protecting personal data. I want to share my story. I want to bring to life the journey my organization is on, the challenges, but also the benefits this has brought to us and to the communities we serve and to the customers and society as a whole. I have a secret to share with you. It's our secret, and it's the secret of why we bother with data protection. Not to keep you waiting, I'll share it with you at the outset. Now we do a lot with data protection, but why we focus on this important work of data protection? For me and for us, it is simple. So that our customers maintain trust and confidence in the way our organization operates. I have been asking myself why data protection is so important to me. What drives me is simple. It's the question of making a difference to lives. I ask myself this question every day. What good can I make today? Now, in my role, I can influence understanding across my organization and a positive engagement, which must be all the way to the top of the organization. For me, it's about seeing employees confident when they know why all this data protection talk matters. Because of the simple reason that they are part of an organization which values personal data. That is a powerful statement. Everyone in the organization, including you, must know that it matters and that everyone has a part to play. You can help cultivate a positive data protection culture. Yes, you. Yes, you can. Your care will translate into and trust of your clients and customers. 
Trust is at the heart of every customer relationship and every consumer relationship. That trust will differentiate you, your organization, from your competitors. We can, as individuals, foster understanding and positive engagement with data protection at a cultural level. And when we get to that point, we know that it's beyond just a tick box exercise. Accountability is one of the key principles in data protection law. It makes you responsible for complying with the legislation and says that you must be able to demonstrate your compliance. Accountability enables you to develop people's trust in how you use their personal data and plays a part in their overall confidence and support for your services. Good outcome for the whole community. I work for a health provider. What we say to our patients is simple. You have trusted us to look after your health. You can also trust us with your data. Now, to me, this is a commitment we are making. We must do everything in our power to honor this commitment to people. Lead by example. Data protection is simply choosing to do the right thing with people's data. It is about embracing a move towards greater openness. For us, in the practical sense, we have opened ourselves up in relation to subject access and other individual rights. A web form on the website that allows customers to find us, to talk to us, that we don't hide away from them, to ask us questions about their data. In our stores online, we have fair processing notices displayed. We have a privacy policy online. It tells people how we use their data. Now, it's a win-win strategy. It creates trust. It allows greater engagement by those to whom the data relates. It keeps your organization engaged. We can learn from recent history. The EU General Data Protection Regulation went into effect on the 25th of May 2018. This is around the same time as the Gansi data protection law. Now, as the date to on which the regulation took effect was announced well in advance, many organizations took the opportunity to start preparing for it well ahead of time, initiating their corresponding GDPR adaptation programs. Others procrastinated until they had to rush to create a last minute GDPR uh, adaptation program which in some cases was more about ticking the box to say that they had adapted rather than actually transforming the organization in the necessary areas. In this example then lies the two biggest challenges. One, data protection as a tick box exercise and two, privacy by design. Privacy by design is all about all organizational activity taking data protection considerations from the outset. Let's look to educate our people. Let's look to learn and to educate. Let the learning reach into the organizational DNA. Let it be about cultivating a new culture of people, employees, of individuals, and, and an organization that does care to do the right thing in relation to personal data. We now live in a new culture that is more aware of the concerns with privacy. And more importantly, GDPR has educated consumers to care about their own privacy. It profits us to go much beyond just having a data protection policy. I don't think so. I do think we first have to look at what data protection leg legislation says. It says things like, um, let your processing be lawful. It says things like, let the purpose be the purpose for which you carry out and continue to process personal data and nothing else. As we would want our data to be treated so much, we treat other people's data. What the law is doing is simply encouraging us to look after others' information so that others who hold our own individual information also are obliged to protect our information and to treat it seriously. Organizations need to engage better with data protection by protecting 
others with the individuals making up the organizations receive the same level of protection ourselves. Society benefits, so the law is spot on. Thank you for listening to me. And in regards to this project, I think it's excellent, excellent. Let's spread the word. You matter, your data matters. Thank you, thank you very much.